Hi guys, so, um, welcome to the first time you're seeing me play a game on this channel called Episode. So, um, before the video starts, I just want to say, um, a trigger warning, um, this video, this game is not, it's for, not suitable for younger audiences, so discretion is advised might be cussing and might be questionable topics not suitable for younger children so if you're not comfortable with that i suggest you click off but if you are and ready to see me play let's get right to it then so first we only have three stories to choose from he says don't hate the player oh sorry okay the prince's bride or the or beauty and the mafia let's look Okay. Hmm. 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 Do we... S um... I'm feeling... Beauty in the Mafia. So, let's read the description. But, uh, the most feared mafia boss wants to marry you. Caught between your hatred and craving for him, will you give in to temptation and dare to believe in love? Hmm, we're gonna find out, so let's jump right into it. My mother made me believe in fairy tales. She said I was... The sweet princess, but I was born in a world of blood. The Mafia. In my twisted fairy tale, no prince rescued me. Instead, I got engaged to the beast. I fell for the man I swore to despise, the one that calls me his cruel beauty. A Mafia boss. What does your character look like? Alright, guys, let me just design her real quick. Okay, uh, sorry, that took a while, but I think I'm ready. This looks like me, so uh, this is perfect. Yes. <laughs> Perfection. Okay, you'll be playing as Chloe. You can keep... Uh, Alright. Let's go. Yes. Perfect. Make them up. All right, let me just do uh, some preparations. Okay, so, um, I wanted, like, um, this to look like Eli, because, Eli, because why not? Like, hopefully it doesn't look like, I just hope I did a good okay job. Yeah, Eli looks like you're gonna be my man in this. <laughs> okay. My sister and I grew up in a world of danger. I have a sister in this? Okay. Our mother died young, and our heartbroken father began to see us as property destined for a love, love, less marriage to the highest brides. Sorry. Wow, our father must not love us then. Sounds like a dick. As the eldest, I've made a peace with the duty. One day I'll have to marry a dangerous man against my will. Oh, well. That's <laughs> um I don't think is it gonna be really unfortunate though. I've earned that it's best not to fight as it keeps my sister safe from the darkness of that world. Mm, anything to protect my sis, I guess. Depending on your choice you'll get to decide, yeah, whatever. I'll go look. So I'll enjoy my freedom while it lasts, even if I want to go to college, fall in love, or become a writer. 
Um, I guess become a writer. You've earned that dream that... You love poetry, okay. I always wanted to become a writer. Poetry is my love. And if I'm being honest, yeah, I really love poetry. We should get back or dad will be mad. Who cares? That guy's a bitch. Ad Adriana. So, let him. He can't do anything. Well, he could marry you off. One day won't be here to help you out. You're reckless. Um, he could marry you off. Please, you're the marriage material. You're the min- Okay. Please, you're the marriage material one. I'm the mess. You're my beloved sister, not a mess. Miss Jade Adri Adriana, your father is asking for you. Jeez, calm your ass down. Erk, I hate them. Eek. Okay, calm your ass down. Jeez. This, why is he so angry? Look at his freaking face as he's just screaming at me and my sister. Jeez, calm yourself down, sir. Miss Jada, Adrian, Adriana. Sorry, guys, I keep messing that name up, name up for some reason. They aren't leaving. Well, no shit, other me. Okay. Who is this? Ladies in trouble again? Um, you could say that. We're hiding from Dad's guards. If they find us, it's gonna end badly. Yeah, no shit. We're not supposed to be here. It's too dangerous. Someone is flirting with you, but then it seems like you're a little troublemaker, Jade. Um, okay. Noah is my only male friend. Our fathers are business partners. Oh, okay. I was like, who the hell's he? When I was younger, I had a crush on him, but quickly learned there was no spark. Oh. So this was our old crush. Oh. Is it a bit of magic so much to ask for? Even if I had feelings for Noah, he became a made man a few years ago, and I'll never fall for a man in the mafia. Mm, I don't know about that, son. I don't know about that, sweetie. Those girls are around here, I'm sure of it. Sir, can you just leave? You, you're, like, literally screaming. Like, Mother of Earth, calm your ass down, sir. If Noah distracts the guards, we can run while they're looking at the other direction. Where should we hide while Noah covers for us? Okay, who's... Okay. As I searched for a place to hide from the guards, my heart stopped as my gaze landed upon the most dangerously handsome man I've ever laid my eyes on. My heart leaped to my throat when our gazes met. Even from a distance, I can see his expression soften as he drinks me in. He takes a step toward me, like he can't help himself, like he has to meet me too. From far away, a mag mag magnetic pole is drawing me to him, spellbound in just an instant. He makes me feel like a doe chased by the hunter. Oh. It's like he's a knight in black armor pulled straight from a fairy tale. Okay. Something tells me this is the fateful encounter I've been waiting for my whole life. I want to. Uh, yeah, guys, by the way, the thing about episode is that they make you do all these gem choices, but as I've been, as I saw from having people, like, you know, like, do, like, do gem choices, as somebody said that the choices don't really matter, and I don't even have gems since this is my first story, so, sorry, um, but I'll just read the choice to you. Distract the guards and meet the mysterious stranger. Smirk face. Let the guards catch me and miss my chance at destiny. 
Sorry, sis, but unfortunately, we're going to have to miss this opportunity. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. It's okay. Let's just go. It's pointless. Stop trying to guilt trip me. No, I refuse to. Adriana, please, sis. We're here. Your father won't be pleased to know you were, you were again in the... Yeah, shut up. Give them a break. Yes, thank you, Noah. Good luck with your father. Thank you, I guess, Noah. Uh-oh, your father isn't happy. Yeah, no shit. Of course you disrespected my orders and went there alone without supervision. Ugh. What were you doing out there acting like seven-year-old children? You're covered in dirt. Who cares? Calm yourself, Dad. Jeez. Also, what is with his hairstyle? Like, oh. Ooh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh. But anyway, today is a good day for us, so you'll get your punishment later. Oh, I don't think so. My daughters, get ready. We're receiving an important man today. Who is he? Usually, when Dad is receiving men, we aren't allowed to go downstairs to meet them. Adriana, I've had enough of your antics. You're too rebellious. That's why I'm marrying you off to the to the coldest and most feared mafia boss. Excuse me? Nuh-uh. Excuse me? Okay. Hold up. There's only one man he can be talking about. My father didn't need to name the man. The most dangerous mafia boss reputation preceded him. Roman D. Rosa? He became a ruthless mafia boss at only 27. Leader, leader of the Italian Mafia and the Femagilla? I'm sorry, guys, if I flop that up. He's known to be a man whose glance freezes you to death. He always, he always got what he wants. People bow to him. He is a man without a heart. A soulless god. Adriana's future husband. What? You can't do that to me. I can and I will. Adriana's only 18. She's too young to get married. Um, use me instead. I'm 21. Why now? Or stay silent. We're standing. We're taking. We're, um gonna be there for our sister where no we're st i'm 21 use me instead oh i have other plans for you and what the fuck is that you bitch our families will benefit from roman's wealth and an attachment to our family name will only make roman more powerful think of this as a mutual beneficial agreement you can't marry off Adriana before me, you bitch-ass motherfucker. <laughs> I hate him already. I hate him. From the moment they started talking about this bitch, I know I was gonna hate his ass already. Do you really think you could handle a mafia man? I couldn't hand off my most delicate and weak daughter to a man like a bitch, excuse you? You remember my friend Pablo? Uh, who? He's almost as rich as Ray Roman. And far less dangerous. He'll make a good husband for you. Pablo is a disgusting old man and dad's business par partner. I'll never be that freak's wife. Yeah, I, I don't want that for me. I couldn't give you to Roman. No. That man can't take my most precious daughter. Eh, bitch, I'm not going to be your daughter any longer once I disown your ass. You're horrible. We're not objects or dad. Ooh, what should I pick? Hmm. Um. I want to say you're horrible, but... Um, I want to say you're horrible because this bitch is getting on my list, but let's just go with, we're not objects because we're, 
We're your daughters, Dad. Since Mother died, you don't have a... Don't talk about her. If you want this family to survive, you'll agree to this union. Bitch. Fuck your union. Now go get ready before our guests arrive. Jeez. Since Mom's death, my father's lost his heart. Yeah, I can tell. Adriana. Why am I running in place? Am I okay? Oh, oops. I just fell. There's this thing about fate. Uh, cumulation, cumulation, I'm sorry guys if I fucked that up, of actions leads to a particular event. And in that case, my downfall. Jade, are you okay? I fell at the feet of a man not okay. I look up at my heart, hammers across my chest. I realize... The man in front of me could only be the one and only Roman D. Rosa. The most powerful man alive. The person who could bring men to their knees with a single ice-cold glare. Knowing how dangerous he is should terrify me. But the electric pulse of attraction I felt in the woods only grows stronger. Are you okay? He's imposing, taller than any other man in the room. I could even distinguish the lines of his ripped muscular muscles underneath his suit. Don't get me wrong, I've met men despite my father's orders, but none of them were like him. Term... Charismatic, I'm sorry guys if I'm fucking up all, this, all these words. And elegant, and the most terrifying way he is all man all powerful all alpha the type of man who hides scars of his past who leads with an iron fist a man who can't break you if you don't stay away he can break something else if you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm fine why do you care you could have helped me out we're gonna be we're gonna be respect if we're not gonna be a bitch yet i'm fine nothing broken I stand in front of my sister, shielding her. Where are our damn guards when we need them, exactly? Adriana, go to her room and wait for me. Roman continues to stare at me, with piercing eyes, trying to read the motions that lie beneath my icy glare. I think you mean Eli, sweetie. <laughs> I pray he can't see the way I try to catch my breath, overwhelmed by attraction for a man I should fear. You, we ain't afraid of him. What are you fucking on about, man? Guards, leave us. Do I make you uncomfortable, Jade? No, you don't. <laughs> the way my name rolls off his tongue, God, I'm in trouble. No. No. I've always been the quiet, innocent one, but something about this man lights a fire in me. That's not what you're going to be saying when you guys are in bed together. For the first time, I feel alive. More than that, I feel in control. He takes a step towards me, meaning to intimidate me, intimidate me but I don't budge. Why aren't you afraid of me? I won't give you the satisfaction of coloring before you like everyone else does. I've heard a lot about you. I know what type of man you are. You just laugh. I heard things about you too, Jade. Or should I say the sweet mafia princess? Oh. But I think there's more to you. There's a spark in you. Buried far beneath the delicate exterior. The question is, are you ready to let it out? Heat things up with Roman. You want a spark? Roman D. Rosa. I'll show you sparks. Uh, oops. Sorry, sis. But maybe later. But just look at this cute moment together. Look at them right now. Just well, look at me and Eli for, as I should say. <laughs> show my feisty side. Flirt coldly with them. 
or brush him off. Uh, sorry, but we're going to have to brush him off, so let's just tell him that he knows I'm playing hard to get. <laughs> brush him. I don't care about the rumors about me, but if you despise us, why come here? I have my reasons. How old are you, by the way? Answer him or don't answer him. Hmm. Now what, we already showed him a lot of fire, so let's just, like, um, let's just answer him. I'm 21. Not that this is any of your concern. And my sister's only 18. You won't marry her. That's disgusting. If you do anything to me or my sister, our guards will make you lose a thumb or more. I don't think so. They'll probably lose their hand instead. Plus, I don't have any interest in your sister, nor in doing anything to you. But! Jade, what are you doing? Oh, look, it's the bitch ass of a father. I apologize, Roman, for the disrespect my daughter showed you. Bitch, the only disrespect... I'm seeing as you disrespecting me and my sister, you ass bitch. I asked you to get ready for a guess. Jeez, why is he so angry? I fell and... Father's grip hardens on my wrist and my heart jumps on my throat, fearing he want to teach us a lesson in front of his guest. You're hurting her. You'll agree with me. A bit of discipline is required to... I'll not repeat myself twice. Dante, let her go. Fine. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I need to change out of this ripped dress so I, I can look presentable for our guest. Mm -hmm. That simple white dress tells me you're just as innocent as they say you are. I wonder if any of the outfits in your wardrobe tell a different story. <laughs> Oh, they will, all right, just for you. <laughs> okay. Did you see how that Roman guy stared at you? He didn't pay attention to me. Not that I'm complaining. That was because I literally fell at his feet. What did he say? Do you really think he's as fearsome as everyone says he is? I'm not scared of him. He's even more fearful. He's all bark, no bite. I'm telling the truth. I'm not scared of him. I'm not scared of him. Where did that attitude come from? I like it. I have a feeling that no one's ever stood up to him before. But that ends today. I'm putting on something hot that shows him that he's finally met his match. Choose your look. I could dress as sexy and bald mafia. I can make a fairy tale come true as a, a romantic mafia princess. Or I can wear the ugly outfit that dad picked out for me. Oh, what is that? Ew. You'll get this outfit for a whole chapter. Choose wisely. Do I have to wear this? Ew. Yes, sadly. Wait, let's just, like... Um... How much diamonds do these cost? 29? No. Oh. How many, like, uh... How many does this cost? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Oh, well, I guess we have to wear this ugly-ass thing. Can we just say, what century does our so-called father think we're living in? Because this shit is ugly. This is, this is not something I would wear in IRL. Not even I would wear this. This is ugly as fuck. Our dad has poor taste. Or I can wear the ugly outfit. Ugh. I'm sorry, guys. You'll get this outfit for a whole chapter. Choose what? I'm sorry, guys, but unfortunately we'll have to wear this ugly ass thing as much as I want to pick... One of the beautiful other outfits, like the sexy mafia outfit, we have to unfortunately choose this outfit. Unfortunately, our dad has shitty ass taste. 
My sister and I hid be behind the stairs and looked at the scenery facing us. What are we doing? Oh. Roman had backed my father into a corner, reducing him to a trembling mess without laying a finger on him. Oh, damn. <laughs> Get his ass. Waves of anger radiated off Roman's body in a wave, in a way that should have scared me, but instead left me feeling electrified. What are you doing? You know I don't take kindly with disrespect toward women. I don't... I think you're weak, Dante. They're my daughters. I do whatever I want. No, fuck you, bitch. Get his ass, Eli. No, not with her. Am I dreaming, or is Roman threatening father? My house, my rules, you may leave if you're unhappy. Tish, tish. You don't make the rules anymore, Dante. And I think I've changed my mind about our little arrangement. You can't go back on your word. I'm not going back on our agreement. But I don't want the younger daughter. I want Jade. Oh! <coughs> no, I agree for Aud Aud Adriana. Me? Oh god, I think he wants you. The idea of becoming betrothed to such a dangerous man should, should have terrified me. But for the first time, I felt powerful. After years of being an older sister... Protecting Adriana was in instinct. I couldn't let her get married, and I couldn't sit around and wait for my father to marry me off to Pablo. Not when some forbidden part of me wanted the, wanted the knight in black armor that stood before me. Before I knew it, I was coming out of hiding, taking control of my life for the very first time. I'll do it. I'll marry... Eli. <laughs> Everyone shook. <laughs> and with that declaration, my dark fairy tale began. You did it, earn gems with you. Awesome. And that... And that was the end of the first chapter. I'm, unfortunately, this video is, like, a bit long, and I don't want to do more longer. Like, this, it's our, we're already in 20 minutes, 27 minutes, about to be 28. But, okay, guys, that was a bit crazy. It looks like I'm marrying to a dangerous mafia boss. <gasps> A.K.A. Eli. Like, come on even though his name's supposed to be Roman, like, I don't, I don't fucking care right now, but, um, but, yeah, and, can we just say, even though we lost, uh, I lost, like, like, my mom in this story, like, that is no excuse for our dad to be acting like a bitch, acting like a dick, like, seriously, so it looks like we're gonna, like, uh, you know, fucking find out probably what happens next tomorrow because I or who knows whenever I decide to post an part uh, ep episode like a uh, two of this beauty and the mafia story we're like um okay uh but we're gonna read this here in episode two we're not going into that you're determined to hate your husband to be but do you that's another story as you learn to get to know him closer but anyway guys hope you had fun watching the first time me playing a video game and we're gonna have to find out what happens next but hope you guys are having a good day or night and i love you all bye bye